Hi, this is Ken Schaefer, and this is the second in a series of videos I'm making about my journey with ED, the treatments I received, the mistakes that were made, and ultimately what led to success. So let's get started. In the last video, I described what happened when I started to exhibit the symptoms of ED, and also what happened with the doctors I went to for treatment. I also talked about the mistakes they made and the mistakes I made. Ultimately, what happened was my un the underlying causes of my uh, erectile dysfunction were not addressed, and I was treated solely with Viagra and Cialis. And that's where this video will pick up. So, as I mentioned, I was placed on Viagra and Cialis, and no further action was taken to find or address any of the underlying causes of my erectile dysfunction. Inevitably, the pills stopped working. I was left to start over again. So I went to the urologist. I went to him suspecting I had a problem with blood flow and the clinical term for that is venous insufficiency. And when I talked to him about it, he had no interest in testing me for venous insufficiency, even though it's a relatively simple test. And he claimed that uh, it wouldn't change the treatment and that there was nothing that could be done to treat venous insufficiency. Well, I knew that was wrong, but I didn't end my relationship with him at that point. He did order some testosterone tests, and again, they came back and looked terrible. Only this time, I took a look at the tests and started doing research on the results that I got. It was clear. It was very clear. They were terrible. And I fully suspected that that he was going to put me on uh, testosterone replacement therapy. Well, he looked at them and said, no, nope, there's no problem, so I'm not putting you on testosterone. You have two, two choices. One is to use a pump and a cock ring or to use Trimix injections. Well, needless to say, at that point, I realized I was not dealing with a competent doctor, and I never went back to him. Next, I went to the endocrinologist. Now, this woman was a lovely doctor. Uh, she really genuinely wanted to help me. Her specialty was in diabetes, not in men's health, but she was willing to work with me. She took a little convincing that I needed uh, testosterone replacement therapy, or that there was a problem with my testosterone. But once I uh, showed her my test results and the research I had done and the reasons for my concerns, she understood that there was a problem, and she started me on testosterone gel. At first, the, uh, the results were promising, but things started to get complicated. So my endocrinologist was not a specialist in men's health and didn't understand all the nuances in treating men with testosterone and all the potential problems that can come up. Initially, uh, a pattern developed. And that pattern was she would put me on a dosage, I would respond for a couple weeks, and then I would stop responding. And then she would up the dosage, and I was, would respond for a couple weeks, and then I would stop responding. And this was a repeating pattern. Another problem that started to occur towards the end was I was developing the symptoms of high estrogen. And this is a common problem in some men that when they go on testosterone replacement therapy, they start producing estrogen. Sometimes it's a problem and sometimes it's not. For me, it turned out to be a problem. Well, she didn't understand what was going on and I realized that my situation was more complicated than she was prepared to deal with. And at that point, I decided to move on to a men's health clinic. And that's where I'm gonna pick up the next video. If you're having problems with your treatment for ED and you're getting frustrated with your doctors, if you're seeing yourself in my story, if you're experiencing similar problems or perhaps even different problems that I haven't gone into yet, I hope you'll reach out because I can help you. I can be reached at healthysexualitywithken at gmail.com or you can call 978 798 0387 
And if you don't reach me directly, please leave a message with your contact information and I will get back to you. So until the next video, thank you and goodbye.